So you're looking to build a diffuser? Well, I'm gonna summarize five YouTube videos that I think are amazing that you should totally check out. So I came across these videos while I was researching a topic that I wanna start working on. I wanna build another diffuser, like a big QRD in the back, and I'm just kinda of seeing what people are doing. It's been a while since I built a diffuser. So here we go. Here are five videos I totally recommend you check out um, because they're incredible. The first video that I would recommend is by John Heiss. The video is called Making a Quadratic Diffuser from Plywood. And I'll put the link below so you can actually go check it out. But anyways, it's nice watching a professional just how efficient they are because I always end up doing the opposite and end up wasting a lot of stuff. If you've seen my videos, you know, because I'm not a professional woodworker. It's really well shot. He has some amazing angles, some really good camera works happening there. So anyways, check it out. The video is called It's Making a Quadratic Diffuser from Plywood by John Heiss. I build it. That's the name of the channel. Links below. It's fantastic. So the next video is brought to us by Sound Headquarters. In this video, he's gonna make a Skyline Diffuser, a really nice Skyline Diffuser. The video is called, How to Build an Acoustic Sound Diffuser DIY Pro. Anyways, he does this in his garage. He cuts everything. He's very meticulous on how he builds it, which is really nice. The video starts off him cutting the pieces, sanding all the pieces. And if you've ever seen or done a Skyline Diffuser build, it's pretty tedious, especially when you have to cut all the pieces that is required. And he's building one that's like three times the size of a normal, just two by two. It's a really cool video to watch. I learned stuff from it, specifically on how he hung it. He used a French cleat. I think that's what it's called. I wish I did that when I was building my sound absorbers because the way I did it was probably the, the least efficient way of doing it. I don't know. Video number three is by Roosters Recording Studio and it's called How to Build an Acoustic Quadratic Diffuser DIY. In this video, he's gonna take you step by step on how he builds his quadratic diffusers and it's really cool to see how he goes about doing it. I always looked at doing a quadratic diffuser initially and I was gonna build the frame and then build um, the walls or the, the slots that you'll need depending on the size of your quadratic diffuser. Um, and then I would just kind of try to figure out how I was gonna place the depth. He's gonna build the wells first, get everything right, and then he kind of frames it after. And I really love how he finishes the frame with the dark stain. It's a really cool video. He does a really good job of explaining his steps and they look amazing. So if you're looking for a quadratic diffuser build, totally check out this build from Rooster Studios. The fourth video on my list is DIY Studio Diffusion and this is from Adam Audio. First of all, it's really well shot, it's easy to follow, and he does a really good job of, of describing different types of diffusers and when to use different types of diffusers in specific situations. My main takeaway I get from this video is the build on the scatter face diffuser. So he talks about what a scatter face diffuser is and if you're not sure what it is, it's basically a hybrid between a diffuser and an absorption panel. You're getting a little bit of diffusion and you're getting your absorption, which is really important. If you have a small space, your biggest issue is gonna be your low end. So if you're just build, building diffusers, diffusers tend to work more in the mids. They're not gonna help you with your lows. You could build a diffuser that diffuses lows, but you're gonna have incredibly deep wells. Anyways, it's a really good video. Check it out, you'll learn a lot, and it's cool to see the different kinds of diffusers that are available to you and that you can make. So my fifth video is from True Sound Studios, and the video is called, how I built my quadratic diffusers. He did an amazing job of describing the process and he also does an amazing job of talking about placement of a diffuser. If you have a small space, sometimes it's almost too small because some quadratic diffusers need a little bit of distance. Specifically, if you're using a skyline, you can't just have a skyline right behind your head. I have to say from doing a lot of DIY builds that sometimes it's hard to document all your steps because you either get really wrapped up into your work or you're on a time crunch and you have to get it done. He does a great job of covering everything. So check out the video, it's really good. Anyways, this is a quick video. These are my recommendations. If you're in the process of building diffusers, check out these videos because um, they're solid videos and you will learn a lot. Thank you very much. Take care everyone and um, happy DIY studio building. Take care.